Hello, welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to transfer funds from your Canadian bank account into your Binance account using Interact. As Canadian residents, you would have noticed that you cannot transfer funds directly from your Canadian bank account into Binance Canada. However, in today's class, I'm going to show you how you can still fund your Binance account with Interact using P2P trading. So what is P2P trading? P2P trading is simply peer-to-peer -peer trading that allows two individuals to exchange Canadian dollars for crypto. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into your Binance account. And once you log into your account, you're going to come here under buy crypto. You're going to select P2P trading. So click on that. Once you click on it, it's going to bring you to this page. And right on this page, you're going to see the different sellers that are available to accept Interact. That's Canadian dollars in exchange for crypto. And on this page, you can see that the cryptos that you can exchange for Canadian dollars is USDT, BTC, BUSD, and BNB, ETH, and DAI. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do Canadian dollars in exchange for USDT. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to enter an amount here. Here you want to make sure that this is in Canadian dollars. Also the fiat is in Canadian dollars. And the payment that you want to select is Interac. Okay. So here you're just going to select or you can just search or just type it in interact so go ahead and select interact so once you select interact it's going to list all the traders or all the available sellers right that are willing to accept canadian dollars in exchange for usdt so for example i'm going to look at this okay 44 orders 100 percent completion that's great and and, and, and also this one 48 and 100 percent completion this is very good and apart from that the way that this works is that it lists the cheapest one on top so if you scroll down this is 134 135 136 so it, it gets more expensive as you scroll down okay so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at the limit here you're going to look at this limit here right this limit so for example if i wanted to transfer 100 dollars canadian right and i i wanted to do it i'm not going to select this person because this person only accepts at least 300 dollars this one accepts 200 dollars this one a thousand bucks this one 500 so i'm going to keep going until i see a seller that is as that is willing to accept the the amount that i'm willing to transfer so for the purpose of this I'm going to keep scrolling until I see one that I like. So this I can still do 534 orders, 99% completion. And this person accepts $100 to $1,500. So I can do this one. So we're going to transfer $100 Canadian from our bank account. So the next thing you're going to do is to select buy USDT. So once you click on buy, so here it's going to tell you how much are you willing to pay on this page here, right? It's going to tell you how much are you willing to pay. I'm going to put in $100 and it's telling me that I'm going to receive 72.99 USDT, right? So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to click buy USDT. So click on it. So it says successfully placed an order, right? So the next thing that you're going to see is that it's going to show you the name of the person. You can see interact name. You have 14 minutes and 47 seconds to send this. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go into my bank account and make the interact transfer. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to click transfer next. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Once you made sure that you've already made the interact transfer, you're going to do like that transfer next and here it's going to bring you to this that okay you're going to confirm successful payment please confirm that the payment has been made to the seller it shows the name the email and and yes and you're going to click i understand that the payment has been made and you're going to click on confirm okay so once you do that you're just going to wait 
for the order to be released so let's say for example now you sent the 100 dollars to this person and you waited for this 15 minutes and you did not receive the amount right so what you can do is you're going to click on appeal for you you're going to click on appeal and binance is going to retrieve the funds for you okay so once you do that once you've already made the payment so literally the person is chatting me up and asking me what was the um what was the the security question then i also responded the security answer okay and you can see that this is very very fast within this is supposed to be within 15 minutes and in less than a minute the the seller was already chatting me up right so i'm just going to wait for the seller to give me confirmation or i'm just going to check on my dashboard to see so yeah as you can see automatically the order has been marked completed right you can see that within less than two minutes i've been able to transfer um 100 interact from my canadian bank account into my binance account and with that i already have usdt as a crypto in exchange and this is the quantity that i have you can see this it says order completed you know so it's very 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 easy to do it's not even complex at all so if you just want to transfer canadian dollars from your from your canadian bank maybe rbc cibc scotia bank or whatever canadian bank that you bank with you can just easily do the interact do the p2p and you're going to just go through the same process so now it shows auto completed but if this does not show auto completed or you just want it to you know confirm again you can come under your wallet and you're going to come under p2p right you're going to come on the wallet you go to p um go to p2p and here you know we transferred usdt right so i'm going to check i'm going to say show so here is telling me the exact amount 72.99 so now my account has usdt in it already and then i can use this us then i can use this usdt to buy any asset that i want any crypto asset that i want so the thing that you're so once you're ready to maybe use this usdt to buy what you can do is you're gonna click on transfer right you're gonna click on transfer we can see that the the usdt came in look at it here so you're gonna click on transfer once you click on transfer you're gonna say okay you want to transfer it to your spot wallet okay how much do you want to transfer is it everything yes i want to transfer everything to my spot wallet so i'm just going to click on confirm you see i selected maximum this is the usdt confirm transfer then it brought me to this page and said transfer succeed right so your transfer request has been completed then you can go to i either go to trade or you check your balance so let's just check our balance right so again i'm just going to click here it's showing that i don't have any money here but now if i just go under my fiat and spot you can see here that okay i now have usdt 72.99 right so it's very 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 easy to do so if if you wanted to check again the um the p2p order status you can also check here come under order p2p order so it's going to bring you here and here is telling me that okay i transferred 100 dollar canadian and in exchange i got 72.99 usdt so this is a very, very easy process. It's very easy to understand. There is nothing complex about it. So once you're ready to, to buy, you know, you just come to your to um, your fiat and spot and yeah, you can see it here, right? It's very, very easy to do, very, very easy. So that's the easiest way for you to transfer your Canadian dollars into your Binance Canada account it's so easy to do within minutes you can literally fund your account so if you have any question whatsoever please leave them in the comment section below i read all your comments and i'll be very very happy to answer them and until then i'll see you in the next class bye bye